Today I'm going to be doing another striping tape tutorial. I'm going to be, this time it's going to incorporate the ombre effect. Instead of using the traditional sponge, I'm going to use these eyeshadow applicators. Um, you can get them at the dollar store for about a buck and you get about 12 to 16 in a pack. Um, first I'm going to start sponging on my purple color. And what I like about these applicators is that you can control them. I even have some that have a point on them, which I use to do galaxy nails, so you don't have to tear off um, a small piece to do galaxy nails with. And you don't have to worry about um, just one side and then it's done. You could just flip it over and use the other side for another color. As you can see on this one that I have the purple on, other side I have a darker blue that I was using for another application. Now we just let that dry and while that's drying as you can see, I striped off this one and this one. Now we're going to um, put in the white polish. Um, I got this from um, Facebook. I seen um, a version of this on Facebook. It didn't have a name on it. So I would love to give her credit because it was like so unique. What do you know about life, Gemma? Nothing. And I couldn't see a name on it. It was on the Nail Art Journal page if you want to check it out. And don't worry about making mistakes. Just dip some um, nail polish remover into a Q-tip. And um, and then wipe it along your cuticle, and that'll get that little bit of mess that you make right up. Don't worry about getting some on the tape, because so when you remove the tape, that'll just come right up. I need to just see the corner over here. And the key to this type of tutorial is to, I mean, this type of project is to remove the tape before it dries. So I'm just going to remove the tape. That's how it's going to look. Now I'm going to do the pinky, which is an up and down look. Let's hurry up and paint this one so the video won't run too long for you. And while I'm using, this works well with um, 
better control if you use a nail art brush to paint it on rather than using regular nail polish brush because you have better control over where your nail polish goes to and don't worry if it looks a little messy because all that's going to smooth out when you add your top coat in so. It'll all look smooth and okay. So. If you don't have striping tape too, you could also use um cut small strips of just regular everyday masking tape and tape it off tape off your grid with that. But if you're gonna use regular everyday household tape, the trick to that is to um put the tape on the back of your hand first. And then um, to get rid of some of the stickiness, and then place it on um, the nail. Let's remove this one. And this is how it has came out. Now we're going to just put on some top coat so you guys can see. You can see what it looks like. 